make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring that notification bell, and make sure to share this with everyone you know to help us beat that massive YouTube algorithm. This is a response video to Organized Chaos and his latest video, video <clears throat> as of the recording of this one, Logan versus Joker. I've checked out Organized Chaos in the past and actually like his videos and hanging out at home a lot lately, I was checking out some videos and I was like, oh yeah, this guy. Went back to check, I agree with a lot of his videos. But there was something wrong with Logan versus Joker. There were a four or five things that I'm gonna talk about in this video, otherwise I'll just ramble on for multiple hours, and I don't wanna do that. I also don't wanna seem like I'm bashing the guy. I severely disagree with a lot of what he said, but I'm still gonna to continue to check in on his channel when he uploads, because I like his stuff. That's why I watched the Logan vs. Joker video. I do disagree with some of his points. Here's the first one. In the opening of your video, you mention that Logan and Joker are both films that are dramas that feature comic book characters. And I said, okay, well, so he understands that they weren't going for this comic book movie feel. They were going for something different, which I accepted that fact. You get to the end of the movie, or the end of your video, and then say that you understand Logan was based off of Westerns, and Joker was based off of Taxi Driver, a psychological thriller. My question to you is, if you're a fan of Westerns, and you want to compare Westerns to psychological thrillers, would you do, understanding that you know these movies were made entirely separately in very different genres, because you even mentioned genre at the end of at the end of your stuff, would you compare Tombstone to, say, Shutter Island? Would you, say, compare bad guys in Tombstone to bad guys in Shutter Island? Because, obviously, in psychological thrillers, the bad guy is never usually a person, or it's the person who's going through the mental illness. It's usually a concept, or an idea, or something that you have to kind of think about to grasp. That was my first problem. You understood that you were comparing a Western to a psychological thriller, but framed everything around the idea of what makes a Western a good movie, instead of comparing the two. And this was blatantly obvious when you got into villains. And as soon as you said villains, I was a little confused because there were no villains in Joker, something that you admit. So you're saying that one movie has a set of villains, a set of bad guys. You're like, well, it's not really them either. You even said that. You said that the villains weren't even the people you were pointing out. They were just the most villain-like, and you had to split them up into three different ideas. Or three different parts of a villain. Whereas, what you should have done, because one movie has no actual villains, but it has ideas that are the villains. You have to look at the other movie and go, does this movie have ideas? For instance, if you're going to compare these two movies, one without villains to one with villains, one where the villains are actually the ideas, and the other one where there's actually ideas that are villainous, I would go with the ideas and not the people. Because in Logan, you have this idea of evil corporatism, okay, that is doing its best to euthanize a specific race of people, which that gets into the civil rights movement. And then not only that, but make sure they keep around or create enough of them to have, a, to have slaves for the corporation. Those are ideas that are very present in Logan, and not only were they present in Logan, they were also present in the X-Men comic books. In fact, the X-Men comic books, which I'm sure that you are probably well aware of this, more so than me, you would know that the X-Men comic books were kind of born during the Civil Rights era. Now let's look at Joker. What are the villains in Joker? Mental illness, obviously, and how a mentally ill person looks at re perceives reality versus actual reality. The idea of classism, rich versus poor, 
economic disparity, all of these are the villains of the movie. But no, in order to give away an easy point, instead of having a discussion about these concepts, these ideological villains, you wanted to do an easy point to just point to a person, or you genuinely did not understand the villainous ideas in either one of the movies. So you either framed the narrative to give it away to Logan, and you didn't give it to him clean cut. I genuinely believe that, you know, you looked at some things objectively, but I also believe that you framed things a certain way. But you either framed the villains with making people the villains instead of the ideas of corporatism, euthanasia, slavery versus mental illness, perceived reality versus reality, classism. Instead of putting those two against each other, you put obvious bad guys versus people in different walks of life. That's where I really started to pay attention because I very much absolutely disagreed with that. The other idea that you put out in this video was that they tried to make the Joker seem like an anti-hero? I'm sorry, colloquially an anti-hero is someone who fights for the greater good, but who uses the morality of the bad guys to do it. They'll murder, torture, they'll steal, they'll do whatever they have to do to make sure that they fight the evil with that evil to protect innocence. That's the idea of an anti-hero. Obviously, Wolverine is an anti-hero. He's one of the greatest anti-heroes that we've ever seen in pop culture. So you have this idea there. One of the biggest problems is you took a scene that was one of the most pivotal scenes of the movie where Arthur Fleck shoots the three rich guys in, you know, in the train, in the subway. And you try to say that, well, they tried setting up, up as an anti-hero there. Because in the scene immediately following, he does his happy dance, which is also something that bothered me. You apparently wanted to make fun of. But if you actually watched the movie, it was a person who was powerless, who experienced the first moment of power in his life. Again, you're trying to take the ideas of a Western and filter a psychological drama through the lens of a Western. And it fell apart. It showed you either didn't understand that the movie was trying to con convey a greater idea or make you think coming out of the theater, or you are framing it in a certain way. Again, Arthur Fleck, that was the first time he ever felt power in his life. You make fun of the dancing at the end, but yet he starts to dance more, the more power he feels that he gains. It's also quite disturbing that he feels powerful when he causes chaos, violence, uh, overall disruption. These are all disturbing thoughts and disturbing ideas, and the movie itself is very disturbing. It's not a Western. The final thing that I'm going to talk about that I really did not like that you did is you said that Joker didn't know, it had a very established world and a good look, but they just didn't really know like what time period they wanted to go for. They just didn't know, could have been the 50s, could have been the 80s. I saw no cars from the 50s and the dress style was very much from the 70s and 80s. And in fact, if you know what happened about 40 to 45 years ago, spoken to my parents about history a time or two, you would know that during the late 70s and early 80s, there was a lot of economic disparity in the country. So, and then you go on to say that Logan obviously understood it's just in the future. That they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly where they're going for it. But these guys just knew the look that they were going for. No, they were trying to convey the idea that many people still alive today lived through. And remember what happened during the late 70s and early 80s. So you either, again, understand the Joker and are framing it in a certain way to make the Joker look bad, or you don't understand the Joker. You didn't understand what the writers were going for, which, again, I highly doubt because you obviously referenced movies at the very end of your video saying that you knew where they were pulling from. So my idea here is that to do this video, it was 
cheap, easy content for you to bash the Joker. I disagree with that. This is this is what I think. Could be wrong. Still gonna watch your channel because I still like your stuff. Actually, like quite a few of your videos. I agreed with a lot of your points at the end. Shazam was better than Aquaman. Aquaman was barely a serviceable movie. I, I agree with a lot of the points that you make at the very end about various different uh, movies and, and superhero movies. I, But again, there are obvious points in here that you show that you understand and you know, and you deliberately change the reference points. You change the context of the scenes. You talk about certain things. Well, why does he dance so much? Um, because he feels empowerment. And in fact, if you actually review these movies, like I've seen you review movies before, you know what context is. So you completely changed the context in order to just bash a movie that you didn't like. And I don't like that because I like your channel and I like thinking that you're objective. I'm still gonna watch your channel and I hope that this reaches you because I really, I, I really appreciate your opinions. I know I sound bad and angry. I'm not. I'm just a. I'm an. Imp I'm a passionate person. This is just me normally. But I did want to take this seriously. I disagree with your entire premise. The whole premise that you're going to compare a western to a psychological drama or a western drama to a psychological drama, the two things that are in totally different categories, and then put it all through the lens of one category, is wrong. The whole video fell flat because you framed it. You should have compared it to another Western or maybe taken Logan, a mm, not so superhero movie that had a comic book character in it and compared it to maybe The Dark Knight, which if you know, they're just police noir films. That would have been a better comparison. But decidedly so, you didn't want to. You didn't like the Joker and you used a cheap, easy way out of it. And I really do hope that in the future, you would consider taking more objectivity, even against movies that you don't like. I like both of these movies. I've never put them to, and in fact had conversations as to why I can't compare the two, because they are so different. Hopefully this response was not too aggressive. I just, that's just me, that's just how I talk. But I wanted to put my thoughts out there and Hopefully, we'll have conversations in Thank the future. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.